Knuckle Brains. Uh, You'll walk the plank. Ahoy, mateys. Uh. Bone Destroyer! Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. So here with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. On today's video, guys, we're going to be upgrading another one of my rare cards to level 6 and giving that card a try. Now, we all know that Robo Bebe is the absolute best Bebe in the game. Robo Bebe is the best Bebe despite what everybody else says if you have not given her a try go ahead and do it because she will not disappoint i have several videos link up there on the right corner of the screen go ahead and check them out robo bebe is the best bebe twist she is the best bebe but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't give other bebes a try like you saw at the beginning of the video a little teaser today we're going to be trying a new baby a baby that I haven't given a try in a long long while and that is gonna be Buccaneer baby that's gonna to the much relief to my very good friend and content creator Lee shooter he uses this card a lot and I'm gonna go ahead and give Buccaneer baby a try we're gonna max her out to level 6 um, all the way to max level 6 and we're gonna put him in this deck and we're gonna see how well we do so right now you see she is at level 5 not even at max level 5 we're gonna max her out at level 5 and then take her out to max level 6 I think we have plenty of coin to do that and this is gonna take a while so I might just not talk while we do this all right, so max level 5, 126 attack, 548 health, and 22 attack boost. Let's go ahead and level her up to level 6, and then max her out to level 6 max. Now, by the way, there should be a button to say level up X amount of times. Because having to click that many times, I mean, it's not that problematic, but... All right, we're nearing that max level, 69 and 70. Look at that, 152 attack damage, 661 HP of health, and she's going to get a whopping 27 boost attack for every kill she takes. That's going to be pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the deck that we're going to be pairing her with. We're going to be playing Adventure with Fantasy. I don't know if this is going to work. If you see me change decks, don't blame me. I want to make a deck that wins. So we're going to see. But so far, this is what we're going in with. Adventure Sci-Fi. And yeah. Um, we'll see you when the matches start. All right. We're playing against Top Misanthropo. <laughs> Misanthropo. Um, and uh, we don't have Buccaneer Bebe. So we are going to start with Mr. Slave. The cost of this deck, after starting the matches, I'm thinking it might be a little bit too high for our good self. So we might have to be changing that. But so far, she has eaten twice. So she's at plus 54. Let's go with Mr. Garrison right here. All right, we'll put... Um, uh, well, pull Sharon. Is it Sharon? I forget. Yeah, amazing woman Sharon. Yes. We'll go here, and now we're just waiting and biting for our time. All right. We'll put this car right here. All right, she's at 108 right now significant amount of damage to be honest with you all right here we go let's go ahead and put um let's go ahead and put elvin king bradley she's at 210 jesus christ this is happening 
All right, let's go with this guy. We cannot let that card die. Right now, our chance right here is to keep that card healthy. And this is the problem. Look at how slow she is. Even though she's firing that fast, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps mixing it with, um, perhaps mixing this card with a hyperdrive. But there we go. We got, we got there two phones and it seems that we're going to get another one right there. And again, I think I'm thinking after this match, I'm going to make a change. I probably will make a change, make this deck a little bit more flexible. So I'm going to replace, I'm thinking I'm going to replace Satan for deck and butters. And I'm thinking I'm going to replace, I don't know. I was thinking maybe replacing Sharon for, maybe Sharon for Robin Tweak. But I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Let, let's go into the deck and, and make some edits. All right, so here are the changes that I settle upon. We're gonna see if this works. Again, I'm not 100% sure, but replace, um, put Deccan Butters in for Satan and put Stan Degrade in for Swashbuckler, um, Swashbuckler Red. Um, the idea being that I can then use this card to debuff the other cards and prevent her from dying. Because that, I think, is the biggest thing with her, keeping her alive enough so that she matters. Um, Robo Bebe is better in that sense because she will do her stuff quick, even if she dies. I don't care about keeping her alive as long as she he, he's doing her job, you know. And that's what the dirty Belfians don't understand. You know, all the people that worship Blood of Bebe is that yeah, you can keep that card alive. She can she can have freaking a hundred, uh, you know, an HP bar that is ten inches long. But if she's not doing the deed, if she's not taking and helping you win, I, I don't care about that. So here we go. Let's, uh, we're fighting against Pistola. And we will see what we can do this time around. Standard Gray, Standard Minimums. Again, two, um, two stands. But I think we should be able. We should be able to come on top. So let's go and put this card right here. All right, so unfortunately, what should we do? What should we do? Nothing, we cannot do anything. Now let's, let's do it now, let's do it now. All right, so I, I thought for a second that we were not going to be able to hit that guy, but we did. So here's the deal. We need, we have rats coming in, so we need that Buccaneer Bebe to be savage for us. All right, there we go. She's being savage now. So now she's at 108. Let's go and put, um, let's put Bradley. She's see 156. What you got now, Pistola? Oh, she's giving me, he's giving me all of these good and nice fruity things. Give them to me, give them to me. Oh my God, 243. Can we make? What is, what did he do? I think he messed up. All right, we need to defend her. That 270 cannot be left alone. <laughs> oh my Lord, this is again so good. All right, let's go with, with this. She's not gonna, she's not going to survive. But hey, she took a phone, I guess. That's all that matters. Uh, let's go with, let's go with Stan of the Many Moons. Stan of the Many Moons. And perfect. <laughs> All right, let's go with, uh, with Garrison. And even if he can... 
We will destroy that. We'll de we will destroy your civilization. But hey, that was a nice buff for that buccaneer. I bet Lee is super happy. It's like, so I told you. Well, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm not convinced on her. She's so slow. So slow. But when she gets going, she she really does her damage. All right, that's it. El pulpo ah, uh, el pulpo po. And we have Buccaneer Bebe, we have Heal Maiden Windy, we have Stano Many Moons. So let's do this. Let's do. Well, we're gonna lose Heal Maiden Windy for sure. Oh no, we're not gonna lose her. We're gonna put now Buccaneer. Ooh, let's go with Stan the Great back here. And we're gonna do. We're gonna do Bradley. And see what we can do here. And we destroy that before she destroy us. No. No. You little bastard, Pulpo Paul. All right. We will have to go and let that guy get sapped. And you know what? He's going to. <laughs> I gave him that. Such a noob, so Such a noob. All right, let's go ahead and slow him down. Most likely, we'll do we'll do this and get rid of this guy. All right, we cannot let him get that phone. Right now, we are about the same HP. He obviously has a little bit more than me. Um, Yeah, this is not good for us. Not good at all. All right, let's go with our own Inuit Kenny. Let him get killed. We will do... Oh, no, Robo Baby! The antithesis of, of Buccaneer. <laughs> The antithesis of Buccaneer has been spawned. Oh my lord. Here we go. Let's go with this. Let's go. I mean, if I was a different person, if I was a different person, I would have put Deck and Butters and, and keep that girl alive. But hey, no. I refuse. I refuse. Let's go. Come on, come out of that. Come out of that. Out of that. <laughs> come on, kill that thing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. She's gonna take a freaking phone. <laughs> But look at Deck and Butters! <laughs> Deck and Butters! Be okay, so I see what you're doing. Alright, let's go with this. Um, We're gonna do Buccaneer. He does have... Actually, no, let's do this. Oh my lord, that was a great play by him. An ox excellent play, to be honest with you. Excellent play, to be honest with you. Let's go, let's go. Alright, so <laughs> we have 18 seconds. What are we gonna do? Alright, let's do this. Let's go here. What can we do in 18 seconds? Not a lot. And we did not get the win. I mean, this is a problem with slow units. You're putting all of your eggs in one basket, and more so in this on this video because I want to showcase her, but um, we're not getting it. All right, so here's the adventure sci-fi deck that I have made. 
Uh, we're going to see how well we do. Uh, we have how many? We have one, two, three. We have four fighters. We have one tank, Osamo, two assassins, and five ranged units. Not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a go. All right, here we go. We're playing against Gleam GM. We're going to see if we can make this sci-fi adventure deck work. It's all about the balance. Maybe my deck is a little bit too expensive. Maybe it isn't. We're going to use this guy together with Bounty Hunter Kyle and Buccaneer to boost her up. That's going to be the plan. If, if I can make it work. <laughs> if I can make it work. Here we go. Let's go and try this. All right, so far, so far it's working. Let's go with Stun of the Many Moons. She's at 110 now. Let's go with Medicine Woman Sharon. Perfect. Let's go ahead and heal. So he's at 169. Can we get another heal? No, we cannot. We cannot, but she got the kill. No, she didn't. Freaking lag got us right there. Can we get a hit from the new kid? Mr. Hanky did not get the hit. You see, two lag events or problems with connection. I don't know how to call it. Um, And again, that Buccaneer baby was... Uh, super high enough, but again, she's so slow that she's not able to take the cookie. Robo Bebe, with an amount of boost like that, would have easily breezed through there. All right. And perhaps it is my fault. Perhaps I am playing it wrong. If you have suggestions for me, please let me know in the comment section. What are the best combos um, with Buccaneer Bebe? How can you make her be uber or uber powerful? Right, let's go with Pocahontas Randy right here. All right, I don't care. I really do not care. All right, let's go with Mr. This will be Bonnie Hunter Kyle. Go with this. We'll freeze them up. All right, let's go with Shower on the back. Come on, Buccaneer. Do your thing. I need your power. That is ridiculous. That right there is ridiculous. Come on. Get a phone. <laughs> Get a phone. You can do it. Look at that. Such garbage. All right. Let's see what let's see what we can do. I think we might be able to get a phone. All right, we, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. But, I mean, that was more work than nothing else. Oh, my Lord. How could that be possible that you get a buck in your baby boosted twice to a fairly high amount of damage and she still fails to deliver? I know why. Because you saw. <laughs> because you suck so. <laughs> All right, we're playing against PC Mercs. And that's one card I was thinking of putting in. PC Principle. But I'm not sure. Ooh, Santa Claus. Is he going? He, he probably has adventure. And he most likely is going to do Stand on Many Moons. 
Oh, no. He's not going to do stun on many moons. All right. I'm going to try this. I, I, I predicted it and it was, it became true. <laughs> I predicted it and it became true. No, <laughs> that was excellent right there. That was level five making Timmy saving my bo my bunghole. All right, let's go with Buccaneer. Let's go with Buccaneer right here. We'll do Ink and Craig. Actually, we cannot do Ink and Craig. All right, get, get, get one hand there. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Go. On, go. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> this is so bad. This is so bad. Oh, my Lord. Bark in here, baby. You're giving me, you're giving me an, an honorism. Honorism? I don't know how to say that. When you're bleeding in your brain. All right. <laughs> Oh, man, let's go, let's go. Let's go with Stun of Many Moons. Let's go with Mr. Hanky right here. All right, let's block, let's block that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't care. I don't care if I kill you. I just want to block that guy. All right. Let's clear him out with Mr. Inking Craig. And Mosquito did not get clear. Did not get clear. That is Garbash. Garbash! All right. Oh, my Lord. This is, this is a firing squad right now. If he doesn't die before... Before things happen, I'm going to be very sad. There we go. That made me that made me a little bit happy. Ooh, she ate once. She's at 120.29. What can we do now? What can we do? Let's go ahead and protect him is what we need to do. It doesn't matter what, what I think. I'm not going to be able to defend her. But let's go with Stan of the Many Moons. Let's go with Mr. Hanky in the front lines. And even if we cannot get the win here, we are going to slash you. Boom! <laughs> so it was not thanks to Buccaneer Bebe, but we got a win right here. And... Locutus the Loom, or the Luminary, and at 7,954. And he is playing, or she is playing Medusa Bebe. So we're going to go here. We're going to put Rand in the front. And we're going to put Mr. Hanky down there. And all of that should get destroyed now. He went savage mode trying to defend one and he couldn't he couldn't deal with that hanky in the face <laughs> all right let's do let's do make a teamy and we'll do um inuit kenny right there and there we go he's dead we're waiting for the perfect time to put in that buccaneer and this is the best time right now. That's gonna be the best time, if 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 any. I mean, what I'm saying is, yes, he's gonna take a phone, but I'm charging now. I'm charging my baby, so. And then I'll do double charge right here. 
And bam, now she's 176. Can I, we take a phone? No, because he used Fireball on that, but we're going to take that phone. We're going to take that phone no matter what. So now it's one phone versus one phone. And we need to make this work. So here's the plan. Let's go with Osimo. Slow and steady wins the race, right? We're going to wait for his response. And depending on what we see, we might do uh, Medicine Woman Sharon. We might do Pokemon Test Randy. Or we might do Ink and Crack. It all depends on what we see. And what we see is Medusa Bebe. So we're going to go ahead and go with Medicine Woman Sharon. We're going to go now with Stan of Many Moons. With Mr. Hanky on the back. And that's that right now. He did the, um, how do you call it? He did do the power bind, but look at Mr. Hanky on the side being savage. Mr. Hanky took the phone because he does not give a damn about what you think. He is just going to accomplish the mission. And we managed. We managed to do the defense right there. Let's go ahead and put a card. We are going to win this no matter what. And that is a victory. Again, not thanks to not thanks to Buccaneer Bebe. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm trying my best to give her a chance. But he has dis she, she has disappointed me once too many times. And again, this is still proving that Robo Bebe is the best Bebe. But we're going to keep trying. Perhaps I should give a Mystic deck a try with Ninju on it, but I'm not sure. I I think this one it, it has the best potential for all the um of all of the decks that I may come up with. And we're fighting against Dream Reaper 69, sitting at 8,256. And yeah, we're going to go with Pocahontas Randy here. Depending on what we see, we might do an Inuit Kenny or we might do Buccaneer. It doesn't really matter. We're going to wait. Yeah, let's do, let's do this guy. We'll just stun him many moons now. So I'm gonna wait till Mr. Uh, Member Pig is out of the range. Um, I'm gonna start putting Kyle now. Yeah, let's go ahead and put Kyle right now. And we'll put Mekatimi and then we'll put Buccaneer. Bebe. I'm going to keep them a little bit separate though. Yeah, let's keep it about here. I'm going to let him hit him. I'm not going to waste my... I'm not going to waste my mind control on that. Let's go ahead and put Awesome right here. I know Member Pick is coming again. I mean, there's no... <laughs> I I was wrong. I was wrong. What the hell did he had? I, I you see like I'm absent minded like that. I'm not paying attention and I should have been paying attention. Alright, let's go with Sharon and heal this guy out. Depending on what he does, we'll do probably Ink and Craig. Let's go ahead and heal him. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, let's go, Mr. Hanky. All right, we need we need to we need to power bind that guy. Come on, do it. Ah, oh, okay, awesome, awesome. No, we couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't deliver the cookies. Let's go ahead and clear those guys out. Let's do make a teamy on this side. 
Let's go. Let's go with this other gal. All right, so ah, oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna kill me. All right, all right. We will do. We will do, Mister Hanky, right here. We will do Pocahontas around here. Let's do awesome right here. Let's do um Let's go ahead and do this guy. Let's do Inuit Kenny. Let's do power bind. <laughs> We're not gonna win. <laughs> oh no. What is this? There we go. You see, I I I have forgotten that he started with Witch Doctor Token. So he did have Pope to me. Um I just I just couldn't I just didn't remember that. So this one is a draw. I think we're gonna end the video right here. I think I have enough evidence to make my final conclusion. So Buccaneer Bebe is a card that has a lot of potential, right? Yes. Every time she kills, she gets some extra attack boost. Yes, she can get out of control really quickly. But it is a card that fails to deliver on that promise. At four costs, that promise is, is more broken. Uh, you saw on the videos a bunch of times she managed to pull herself up to high amount of damage. But she essentially was either too low health or... I was out of energy in order to protect her so that she could deliver the goods, which is in this case is getting a phone. It doesn't matter if you can get a lot of damage. If you cannot get that damage directly to the new kid, you are done and done. That's why, again, I am going to advocate for the best baby in the game. Robo Bebe. I know a lot of people are going to 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 mock me. Like, no, the best Bebe is Medusa Bebe. No, the best Bebe is Robo Bebe because she only needs three kills to get to her maximum potential. And once she does, she will wreck anybody that's in front of her. She, she will kill units faster than you can put units back into the field to defend the unit that she is attacking. That's why I think Robo Bebe is the best. Links up there. Um... Buccaneer Bebe, it's trash. It's still the number four Bebe in all the game. I am sorry, Lee. I, I tried to give her my best, but we couldn't. I, I just couldn't. I couldn't make it. If you have a suggestion for me, let me know. And I think that's going to be all for me, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe, share button, and like the video. I will catch you guys later. Saul is checking out. Bye, guys.